Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle Ready Inc. So this week's match, we use the brand new purple Devimon deck using Dawn Devimon, as well as we use green, kind of like a, a balance control style deck. And that was this week's match. So we've already covered the green deck. Now we're gonna move on to the purple Devimon deck. This thing is a lot of fun, honestly. It is so like just different and uh, I don't know, it's just, it's it's very unique to itself. You play so many Devimon in this deck, it's absurd. Um, not as many as you would think though. We actually don't maximize out on it because you don't need to. And that's the best part about this deck is you don't have to play the bad Devimon and still be incredibly optimal and, uh, and filling up your trash super fast. Let's get into this. <laughs> Also, don't forget this month's Patreon reward is Upamon Memory Counter. So uh, make sure you go check that out. These are all handmade by my wife. Cute, adorable little guys here. If you're a yellow player or a returning blue player, uh, you're probably going to be making the switch back to Upamon anyway for uh, how the new way to play blue with Ancient Garumon. So uh, check those out. That is this month's for June Patreon reward. So uh, if you want one of those little guys, uh, definitely check that out. Okay, so if you're here, you probably kind of know what this deck is. Uh, this is the, the Dawn Devimon, right? This is the new mega level uh, Devimon, right? And so basically the new promo that came out that we just got access to literally today is the official release that I'm filming this. Uh, this Inheritable right here essentially just lets you get a play one for free out of your trash. So the theme of this deck is fill up the trash with as many cards with Devimon in the name as possible. You don't you need to do more than just that right you need to be able to do other things as well you still have to play the game while filling up your trash doing this mechanic so that's kind of what that we're going to go through here is just to how to functionally not lose right while also doing this you know very interesting like method of playing purple likes the trash stuff anyway but it's a whole different kind of like beast when you have to do it with a very specific name digimon all right so jumping into our eggs here we've got the demi marimon and uh while an older egg compared to the the Zyomor, um this one is well, on deletion trigger draw one then trash card one card in your hand this is great this is exactly what we want to be doing one we need to be drawing into better cards right i mean that's one of the best things about purple is their draw power is incredible if you ever get into like an awkward situation you have all these mechanics that just let you draw and draw and draw so whatever kind of like opposition you're going against you can draw into the exact out in your deck for that uh whatever it is you're going against and uh demi marimont is the first step in a long line of a whole lot of that in this deck so you're drawing one and discarding one um What's really beneficial in this deck is at least get one Don Devimon in your trash uh, by probably by discarding it. There's just the chances of you digivolving into it and it dying and going to trash is a little less something that you should be relying on. And at least just discard it one time. Discard it or mill it. And what we will get to milling in a second. Uh, our next egg is the Xylmon. Uh, just because we are filling up our trash incredibly fast in this deck. So getting this thing live is actually pretty easy in this deck compared to other purple decks. Other purple decks don't mill quite as much or trash as much, um, but in this one you really do. So getting 10 in trash is really actually pretty easy. We still rather have the Demi Marimon because that's letting us pick and choose. And, uh, and getting this is just a nice bonus. So uh, that's why we threw it in here as a, uh, as a fifth egg. Uh, next up is the the man himself here is Demi Devimon. This is what makes this whole deck possible, right? So you have to maximize out on this one. Uh, zero cost evolution for a level three. That's pretty good. Play cost of three. Pretty standard stuff here. Uh, but inheritable. On deletion, if you have seven or more Digimon cards with Devimon in their names in your trash, you may play one Don Devimon from your trash without paying its memory cost. So, Dawn Devimon is a purple level 6. Already, that's great. Uh, being able to play a Mega for free anytime is phenomenal. Uh, also, when the, he goes to the trash, he can be your 7th one. So, what's really, not about, really nice about on deletion effects is he goes to the you know, trash, and then the effect you know happens. It's not he dies, right, and then he's like in this weird flux zone of not in the trash yet, uh, but not on the field either. No, he goes to the trash, 
then his, and then his effect, in, when he's deleted, he's in the trash now, he can be the seventh one. So uh, really great stuff there. So And it's on either player's turn. It's just on deletion. doesn't matter what turn it is. So that's very important too. Just the linchpin in this whole kind of this whole setup here. All right, next up, we have our next Devimon within the name. Uh, on play, trash the top two cards of your deck. This is another promo. This was a tournament promo. This one's a little harder to get, a little more expensive to get if you're playing this deck. Honestly, probably one of the most expensive cards in this deck. But it's again, it's a weird, awkward promo that most people aren't playing anyways, unless you're playing like this specific deck. Most purple decks aren't even playing this anyway. Um, but yeah, on play, trash the top two cards of your deck. I mean, it's just one, we're milling more, so we're getting more stuff in the trash, hopefully more Devimons, uh, just as well as other things for targets for other things for when you go back into the trash later on and dig. It just sets up good trash so that way you can uh, do more later. Uh, so on play effect, you need some on play, on play effects anyway, so why not play this one for, uh, for trashing and it's got the right name. So that's just important all around. All right, next up we've got Labramon. Labramon's one of our newest cards for purple. Uh, on play, trigger, draw one, then trash one card in your hand. So basically purple got its own Gabumon, but for their uh, strategy right for the purple strategy of filling up your trash it doesn't really matter what purple deck you're playing I think all of them are pretty much the same and you're going to be uh, filling up your trash in one fashion or another so getting to just draw one is pretty amazing so I'm not gonna just keep beating that same dead horse there uh, same same spill as the uh, the egg ultimately uh, next up, we got Impmon here. We are playing Impmon uh, just because on deletion, trash the top three cards of your deck. I mean, that's very similar to the Demi Devimon on play here, but in the Impmon package here, uh, not only is it, I mean, that's a lot to mill. That's a really heavy amount, so that's really nice. But playing Impmon in a deck where we're trying to fill up our trash as much as, much as possible. You can guess who else is in this deck. Yes, we are playing Beelzemon as well because we can make Beelzemon live so fast. So one, just being able to have a card that mills this much is really good, but also a, a Digimon that lets us go straight into a Mega to pop something on field, also very good. So yes, we are playing Beelzemon because it combos so well with uh, any deck that's going to be trashing a lot and that needs to play Impmon to trash more cards. So why not play these guys as a package deal? I think it's it's just kind of goes hand in hand, really. All right, next up we have uh, good old fashioned Devimon. Right, ever since this guy came out in purple, he has been in every purple deck. I swear forever, just because he retaliation is incredible. I mean, I mean at any point, right? You just raise up your your rookie that you have in the raising area drop a Devimon on top of it, super easy for a memory cost of two, and swing into something terrifying and just clear it off the field. That's great. Also, I mean, you Digivolve him on top of your Demi Devimon here, and now you get to trigger his on deletion effect. I mean, they really just kind of work hand in hand here. Uh, that's two Devimon in the trash instantly. So yeah, he's just phenomenal. And even if you ever need to Digivolve on top of him, you never lose the retaliation, which is what I, I think is also very important with this card. Makes him even better is because sometimes, you know, you just got to step over him. You know, you, you just need a level four to Digivolve into a level five for whatever reason. And you and oftentimes you don't want to Digivolve onto something like this, like Digivolving on top of a blocker. You lose your blocker status, right? That's a big deal. With Devimon, even if you go over him, you still keep that retaliation, and that is that is crucial for any purple deck that has Devimon in it, I think. Uh, so, just an, an outstanding card. An outstanding purple card. One of the best cards that purple has in its entire toolbox is just regular old level 4 Devimon. Next up, though, we have the new level 4 Devimon, and this is our blocker. One cost to evolve level 4. Anytime you have a one cost evolution level 4, that is a good card. I mean... They're really rare in a lot of colors. Green, not so much. Green has lots of them. But all the other colors, they, they love to have the opportunity to have a level 1 or a uh, 1 cost evolution level 4. Uh, being a blocker, also great. Uh, the 5k DP as opposed to the 6k DP of Vilemon, right, ultimately isn't that big a deal. The only stuff you're uh, ever stopping with a blocker is either 1, Rookie Rush, which is mostly all weaker stuff they do have some uh of the green two cost drop uh five 
five Ks, right? But a lot of their stuff is less. I mean, jamming Vmon, you know, that's huge right there. Uh, you know, they're all playing a lot of blue stuff, and a lot of the blue stuff is weak. So uh, he's doing his job against rookies, right? But anything beyond that, most people aren't swinging with their level fours and their level fives into security, uh, unless they're really planning on them dying. Uh, but you're stopping bigger stuff, and if you're sacrificing a blocker, it doesn't matter if it's 5k or 6k, you're in that mindset of, I'm blocking this mega, okay, I'm going to lose my blocker either way, so why not just lose one that costs you one evolution? And that's my thought process on the Devimon, as well as in this deck, it is uh, great because it's another Devimon. So, so far, we're up to 16 Devimons, and we're still in the level 4s, okay? So, yes, the, we're, we're doing really good. With all the milling and stuff and sacrificing with the Devimons or the blocking with the Devimons, you know, if you have these as inheritables or whatever, you can get them all into the trash very quickly. Okay, very, very quickly. All right, moving on, though. Uh, we do have the Vilemon. In the initial testing of this deck, we didn't have the Vilemon in there, right? Just because we're like, well, you know, we would rather have like a Maramon for that one cost evolution so we can get into the next level faster. Uh, we also had the Skull Maramon here in place of Chimeramon because it was a cheaper evolution so we could evolve into stuff faster. But it's kind of a, a toss up in this deck. Yes, you want the Dawn Devimon on field early. You need Dawn Devimon on field early. But if you can't do that, you need to stall your opponent. And one of the a good way to stall is a blocker, right? You don't want them clearing your security too fast uh, because then you don't get the, the real good benefit of having Dawn Devimon on field or multiple Dawn Devimons on field. So being able to slow your opponent down and their game state down, uh, I just think Vilemon's a, a really good one for that. So uh, we can really maximize out on our level four blockers here helping ensuring that we're going to have one kind of in our opening hand or at least very early in the game so at, at seven blockers there level four blockers we should see one pretty early uh next up we have lady devimon this is our next devimon we're now up to 20 devimons in trash remember that don devimon will be part of that count because it has to be in trash to get it out of trash for free right so one of them will always be your Don Devimon which as a four of could be kind of difficult but if you're drawing and discarding drawing and discarding so much or just milling constantly you should be able to get one Don Devimon on field or in the trash and then uh, to bring it out and in the meantime you're just doing you're filling it up with other other ways either blowing them up yourself crashing them blocking big stuff you know you're, you've got plenty of ways to fill your trash up with devimons here uh also with the lady devimon here uh when did you evolving draw two then trash two in your hand so essentially because you get one for evolving right and then you draw two more so you just draw three trash two you know trash more devimons if you need to trash more devimons trash the dawn devimon that's in your hand i mean same scenario as all the other draw one discard ones it's just this one is essentially draw three discard two so it's just a super powerful version of all the previous ones we talked about um it's inheritable less important yes you can digivolve onto your level fives do you need to not necessarily it's just it's kind of an awkward state in this game level fives is not as important because one you're playing the dawn devimons uh you're trying to play them from trash preferably playing them from trash for free but you can digivolve into them. They are a four cost to dig digivolve into, so you're probably passing your turn. Not exactly ideal, but it's okay because he really punishes your opponent uh, if they attack you while he's on the field. So uh, yeah, um, if you need to digivolve him, you can. On top of these guys, it doesn't. There's no harm. So Lady Devimon's uh, effect here is your turn once per turn when you use an option card, delete one of your opponent's level three Digimon. It doesn't come up that much in this deck. We don't play a whole lot of options, but it is kind of nice, especially if you combine it with like a, uh, a Jack Raid that is a zero cost, right? Zero cost uh, option to get this ability off. Heck yeah, I mean, even if you don't have 10 in trash to get that uh, Jack Raid off, you can still play it for zero for no extra memory, but still use Lady Devimon to pop something. That's pretty cool. So I don't, I, don't, I mean, she's got so many uses here. She's a great card. Just the name the draw three discard two that great card for sure uh next up we have the chimeramon like i said originally we had the skull maramon because the thought process was 
get into Don Devimon as fast as possible, either through the uh, the unique like way that this deck operates to get it out of the trash for free, or to just rush and digivolve it, uh, you know, as quickly as possible. So. We had the Skull Marimons in there because it was a cheaper evolution cost. However, we also found the, the issue of not being able to trigger the Demi Devimon Inheritable. We just so many issues where, you know, you try to like swing in with a level four to crash it and, and it wouldn't die, okay, in security for whatever reason. So you can swing with it, crash, if it dies, Chimera that sucker. Just Chimera your own Digimon and blow something else up and then you can trigger it. So. Chimeramon's always been great for purple, just being able to blow up a level 5 is really important. Even right now, with yellow being like super prominent, if you want to play this at like local level, you're probably still going to run into a lot of yellow players right now. And being able to blow up um, their Angelomons and their uh, War Growlmons, that is huge. That is huge to stop that deck. It slows it down so much. I mean, just like back in the day in 1.0, when you're, all those players were trying to turbo into an Omnimon as fast as possible, and purple just turn after turn, just Chimeramon, their level fives. Yeah, it's great stuff. All right, and next up, we're gonna go into Don Devimon himself here. So uh, we caught, we talked about it already. Four cost evolution is kind of steep, uh, but you know, the it is there. If you need to digivolve into it, it is there. He's 12k, which is solid. So uh, if they hit into him in security with War uh, War Greymon, Yellow War Greymon. The War Greymon will die. Uh, you can also swing over a War Greymon really easily with this. Uh, it's great. Also, on opponent's turn, once per turn, when a card is removed from your security stack, trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. So they kill one of your security, you kill one of their security. So if they want to push, you know they need to uh, push for a whole lot. Don't they can't just nickel and dime you clear one security from you every single turn. They need to push for a whole bunch all at once. Um, it's all, it's a great card just to slow your opponent down. If they have if you have this on field, they're not going to just swing for one little cheap shot, right? They're going to want to go for a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but the crazy part about this is it stacks. So you have two or three Dawn Devimons on field. They hit one security of yours. Boom, you clear three of their security in one go. Uh, against a yellow deck, I mean, they're going to put themselves at zero security in just a few turns. I mean, literally one swing on you and boom, they're going to be down to you know one or zero security because of their War, uh, war Greymons are going to be trashing some. Uh, if they're playing Blinding Ray, they're going to be trashing their own. You know, they're going to be running out of security super fast. And Don Devimon's just going to punish them so hard and just allow you to for an easy win, honestly. Don Devimon there is an easy win against someone that's trashing their own security. So it's important to get him on field early, though, because if you get him on field too late, then they've already, you know, cleared too much of your security, and now you're not going to get the multiple turns of Don Devimon's use. So you just got to make sure you get into him fast and I think that's pretty fundamental it's either stall them and don't let them ever hit your security or uh, go, go into him super fast it's one or the other you have to do one of the two strategies all right next up we have of course the Beelzemon we already talked about it um, if you have ten or more cards in your trash you can digivolve him on top of an Impmon uh, that's great also when digivolving delete one of your opponents level four or lower Digimon Sweet, awesome. Uh, getting a free pop there on a level four or less. I mean, that's a blocker, you know, whatever. You can digivolve him, pop a blocker, and then punch for game with all that security that they've cleared themselves out on. Uh, you can digivolve him on top of your level fives, like we talked about. Uh, a lot of level fives were yes and no. We don't need to digivolve on top of them, right? Don Devimon, we, we want to play him from trash for free if we can. You know, if we can digivolve him, awesome. Same with uh, Beelzemon. If we don't have an Ipmon that we can digivolve on top of, we can still digivolve on top of these level fives. They are there for that. So just uh, something that you know, think about is that the level six we we play, you aren't really our goal isn't in to digivolve them onto level fives. It's to play them in a very unique manner. Next up, we have Millennium Mon here. Who is just great removal i mean if you can fit you know a level seven into a deck and you don't have a level seven already and he's a great removal piece yeah sure why not and once he's on field he's so hard to kill because you know they they spend all this like resources to get him off field and he comes right back 
it's he's annoying for sure so any chance to just throw a couple millennium mons in there is always nice just for that just for that staying power he has as well as that removing power for uh, your opponent stuff so uh yeah i this guy's awesome so not much more to say about that i have him met as a two of here just because yeah we Beelzemon is dead. Once he's on field, he's done his duty. So going on with a on top of a Beelzemon with Millennium Mon is pretty ideal. Or say your security is low or your opponent's security is gone. You know, Don Devimon isn't doing anything anymore, so you need to start worrying about pushing for game. You can go on top of a Don Devimon to remove a threat and then push for game, right? So that's why I just have him as a two of. You know, he's not like our end all be all, all is to go into Millennium Mon as fast as possible. He's just here as a tech option to handle certain threats that come onto the field, whatever they may, Valder Arms or whatever. Yeah, nothing like uh, dealing with a Chaos Mon, right? That you or a, a yeah Chaos Mon and or Valder Arms, the one that if you delete them, you you lose the three memory or they gain three memory. Millennium Mon gets around that because you're not deleting, it, you're just stacking it. So yeah, great card. Next up, we got the mats here. Matt is great because. You just get anything back out of your trash. With as much milling as you're doing and just trashing cards, being able to just get it right back to hand, you know, a couple turns later, that's great. Uh, also, memory fixers. Anytime, any deck I play these days, I feel like I want a memory fixer in them, like moving ahead. I don't care what the deck is. I want a memory fixer. Being able to put myself at three memory and not get choked out at one every single turn is just too good of a thing to just not have in your deck. So... Yeah, it's just, I mean, we have a lot of three evolution cost stuff and two evolution cost stuff, or hard play for three, right? If you on play this Demi Devimon for three, right, you get your on play effect, or uh, the Labramon, you get your on play effect, and then you just digivolve, you know, like a, a blocker on top to pass turn back to your opponent. So, uh, great stuff. Uh, we do have the three Trump Swords. This deck doesn't have a whole lot of, like, just smashing power of big stuff. Uh, if you don't have a Daunt Devimon on field, you can kind of start to fall behind. And we were really missing the Trump Swords in the initial build. We didn't have them there, but uh, or at least they weren't in a very high count. If we did have them, I can't remember. Um, but, yeah, you just you need Trump Sword. You just you need some good removal, and I think that's super important, is just having some good removal available. Whether they hit it in security, or sometimes you just need to play it, you know, for that seven cost, get that stuff off the field, whatever it is. Uh, you know, the, the Chaos Mons, the Valder Arms, whatever they may, they may be, uh, you, you just need some sort of removal. So that's why we added the Trump Swords in here. as a three of, we don't need to go crazy with a four of. Uh, it, it can get pretty bricky if you, if you have it too high there. All right, our, our, our last few stuff is two new cards. We've got Jack Ray. That mentioned this one earlier. Uh, it's a zero cost option, and then uh, gained one memory for every ten cards in your trash. Uh, as much milling as we're doing, this card is almost by like turn two or three instantly turns into a hammer spark and that's awesome just being able to have a hammer spark in hand uh late game though or i wouldn't even say late game mid game with this deck you can have 20 cards in your trash it it's it's possible so boom now he's two memory that you're gaining off of this i mean at that point you're better than uh blinding light right he's he's amazing because then you're not losing anything uh for playing this and oh my god if you if this is kind of a a slow deck right we have lots of blockers and removal and purple really likes to drag games out to make them extra long getting this thing off at three oh my god like just the power of having this being able to play this and gain three memory for free just instantly with no repercussions yeah that's that's absurd uh also security gain two memory i mean how many times have you hit a hammer spark in security and had to pass your turn well, now you have to deal with that in purple also. That's a that's a threat you can run into in purple is to hit a dang jack raid and pass your turn. So just be mindful of that. However, it is only at a two of here. You could maybe argue for three of instead of the one nail bone. Uh, it's just my thing is you don't gain that until you have ten cards in trash. So if you draw this early game, it's going to be dead in your hand for several turns if you open it turn one. So you want to draw into it later on. You know, that, like I said, like the... You know, a couple turns in or, or mid game, you know, that's the ideal time to jaw jaw into this. And I think at a two of is just right about where you want to be. Argument could be made for three. I would not play this at four though, because then you're just you're gonna draw it too much 
and uh, and you don't want to do that if it's not going to be live. And our last card is Nelbone, which is the new one out of the starter deck here. Uh, main, you may play one purple level three Digimon card and one purple level four Digimon card from your trash without paying their memory cost. Uh, no on play effects though, so keep that in mind. But still, seven cost, I mean, this is like a seven cost version of Piedmon, right? Instead of that massive, what is a 12 cost? This is significantly cheaper. So we have him as a one of just because, you know, the sometimes you get in situations where you might need a blocker on field or, or whatever, whatever it might be. An, an Impmon, right? You need an Impmon on field. Whatever the situation is, uh, or even getting back your Demi Debumon. Say this one died early game, you don't have another one available yet. Well, let's go and get that uh, nail bone going so we can get one. You know, now that we have everything we need, we just need that one uh, Devimon on field, the Demi Devimon. Nail bone gets you one right back. So definitely like having this card in here just as a as a low count. This isn't the theme of the deck. We're not playing Metal Guru Mon here. We're just playing these crazy. Uh, one or two t copies. If you want to cut somewhere else, uh, maybe a Trump Sword down or something like that. Uh, anything, maybe uh, maybe a Chimera Mon. You cut a Chimera Mon down a little bit and fit more of these in. You know, argument could be made for two of. But in this deck, you want to leave your stuff in trash, right? You need to be in trash to get their effects off. You don't want to be bringing back your blocker uh, Devimons if you need them in trash to count towards your, your seven. So just an interesting card. I think it was at least worthy at least mentioning it here as a one of. Uh, I don't prefer usually to run one ofs because it's so hard to draw into. You won't see it every game, at least as a two of. You can almost draw into it every game, depending on how the game goes. But at a two of, you typically will draw into at least one copy per game. Um, but I just wanted to mention it, if nothing else. Also, its security effect isn't bad. Uh, you may play one purple level four or lower Digimon card from your trash without paying its memory cost. Like, that is, I mean, that's game changing right there. If they're thinking they're about to clear you for game, and you know they've got the exact number to push for game and they hit a nail bone and you bring out a blocker a level four blocker I mean, that shuts down their whole thing maybe they overextended be going into this big play to push for game and then boom you got a blocker out and now they can't actually win and you know they're completely expended all the cards in their hand and everything like that and uh so when they pass it back to you yeah i mean you might be able to steamroll them just because uh you stop that one big important play so it's a it's a cool card i definitely like having it in pretty much all purple decks moving forward just the the count changes drastically depending on the type of deck that you're playing and that is the deck let me know what you think i think it's super fun uh it's not necessarily like meta tier you know going to be topping and winning crazy tournaments but i think it's a very fun deck to bring to a locals and just to have fun with it's a great fun deck it's a very unique deck and i think that's one of the best things about it it's got a huge fan favorite so i mean who doesn't like devimon really if you're a fan of the old classic show or whatever he he's one of the like greatest digimon villains that there is so definitely love devimon so this is a very cool deck to play Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment, uh, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoy this type of content, I try to put it out as much as possible. So definitely subscribe. Also, if you really enjoyed the content, check out my uh, Patreon. I have a link in the description below for it. You can get access to my Discord server, as well as your, if you're a Dragon Village M fan, account takeovers where I help you out with your account. If you're a Digimon fan, I've got monthly giveaway. Well, not even giveaways. I've got monthly merch that's specific to Patreon. Stuff like memory counters custom made this is the uh, the baby form of vmon here there's gonna be more in the works also so lots of memory counters all kinds of awesome digimon merch so definitely check out that tier and if you're just all out crazy there's other tiers if you're that dedicated uh, as well as check out my teespring i've got awesome merch there you know official battle ready ink merch awesome phone cases for you digimon fans out there uh they've got them for iphones as well as uh samsung's so they are super sweet if you've seen the the last digimon movie that's where these are from i had a friend of mine custom make these so that way they fit perfectly on these phone cases they look super good so definitely check those out but at the end of the day if you can't do any of that just like i said like the video that helps a ton and subscribe it doesn't hurt but it helps me so that's what's the, the real benefit.
And as always, I'll see you next time.